Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Ethereal. So, today I'm coming at y'all with a Heroes Online video. Heroes Online is finally free. I said it, yes, it's true. Heroes Online is finally free, so go ahead and check it out. Your boy actually got to level 100 plus, trying to get to that 200 before USJ comes out. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Because based on the photo that I saw, and I put it on the screen right here for you guys, they actually have quite a bit of zones ready for us to play on. Now, in these zones, apparently there's going to be rescue missions and a whole bunch of good stuff. Oh, this is a new area over here. I haven't actually gotten a chance to explore over here. It's like a new shop or something. Let me find out if this is like a little mall area. It is. And it is. Well, I can't. Oh, it's a hero type based area anyways. Yeah. All right. Anyways, y'all. Um, In this video, I'm going to be showcasing. I said showcasing. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the top five quirks that i personally want to see in heroes online all right they have quite a bit and they actually have some of them that i like but i still want to see a couple more i want to see a couple more in there for sure and i'm going to be discussing that in this video so without further ado well whoa, whoa, whoa. before we even before we even do that smash the like button for me right smash the like button and comment hashtag what quirk you want to see in heroes online all right let me know down below let me know down below Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, this is actually like my third time trying to record this and I did not notice that my microphone was off for this whole entire time. But, at least we're getting it working now, so let's get right into this list. Now before I start... I have to mention that this list is not in any particular order. I do not mind which one gets in first. I don't particularly have a favorite except for one of them, but either way, I'll just be grateful for any of these in the game, period. All right. So here's my top five quirks that I would love to see inside the game. Number one, number one, I have my boy Hitoshi Shinzo's quirk brainwashing okay for those of y'all who do not know brainwashing is a very very powerful quirk so much so that people don't even want to talk to my homeboy all right they don't even want to talk to him because the way how this works is that if the user wants to control your mind all they have to do is say something to you if you respond back in any way if you say yo ah a e o u as long as you respond back to him he can then control your mind but it's not it's a powerful quirk but it doesn't like completely take over your body in the sense that like you can do like some athletic um olympic type stuff after that once you actually you're actually in a zombified state you become in a zombified state even if you're affected by it it doesn't really matter because you can't do anything like olympic level or anything like that the targets can't do anything complex they can't do any complex brain activity you know thinking or talking or anything like that they have to do simple commands that's the only way they're gonna function so i was thinking the way how this could work in game is maybe you can make it so um you know um like you in order to activate the rest of your moves you have to go towards somebody you know close distant range you know what i'm saying then you activate the first skill you say something and then maybe the game could force somebody else to say something back um by default and then after that you can activate one of your other skills one of your other what i think you have like about like, like four other skills or three other skills in the game so yeah you can have like three other skills in the game the first skill could be something like uh like you make them bow down to you or something like that or make them stand still which is going to be like a nice little stun and then you can attack them and then they snap out of it afterward second skill could be something like um maybe you can make like a little transportation type of skill where you um like you tell the person to like turn around or something like that and you hop on their shoulders and then you could like you know run around with them you know like in your own little like um car or something like that you could just like make them piggyback ride you all around the place for a little brief period of time not too long you know because it's gonna be busted if it's too long but you know just some something like, like you know let you get around and stuff like that and then the last move you can do something like, you know, if a big finisher, you can make them like attack themselves or something like that. But regardless of what I would love to see brainwashing in the game, I think it's a pretty good solid quirk in the show. So I would like to see if he would, uh, you know, make it, see what he could do with it. 
number four on my list, I'm going to have to go with something a little bit mainstream. I'm going to have to go with the copy quirk. All right. Copy quirk. Nobody really does it. I don't know why. You know, I don't think it's too complicated to make, but all you really got to do is make it so the person punches the person and then they get the, the quirk copied. Simple. Simple as that. But for those of y'all who don't know how, how copy works in the show, the user must come into contact with the user. And then once they do that, they can copy the user's quirk for X amount of time. I don't remember exactly too much. I think it was like five minutes or 15 minutes, something like that. I don't remember if it was long or short, but either way, you can copy the person's whole quirk and their abilities. Now, the knowledge of that quirk is not, tr not transferred to the user. But if we were to make this function in the game, I think what would have to happen is that as you level up this copy quirk, then you have access to more of the user's skills. So for example, you know how you how every quirk has around like, I think three, three skills or so, something like that. Then you can make it so we punch the user, and you're like level 15 or something like that. And you have it unlocked then you have one skill. You punch the user and then you have like, let's say 25, um, that's a 25, two skill point, two skills unlocked. Then you can copy two skills and it works like that, so on and so forth, and you could copy all of them. I think it's a pretty solid quirk. Um, but yeah, that's my fourth pick. Now, let's move on to my third pick. My third pick is actually my favorite quirk in the show, which is Compress, all right? Mr. Compress. And surprisingly enough, this is actually a villain quirk. Um, Compress is, for those of y'all who don't know, is a quirk that allows you to shrink down anything within a spherical area around you into a small tiny little marble without actually damaging it or um causing any sort of like you know it's just basically just shrink the person down to a marble regardless of what it is organic or inorganic you know it could be a car it could be a lamp post it could be a um a bug it doesn't matter it's just gonna shrink down it's like a little marble now this quirk is actually very very solid because you can use this offensively and you can use this defensively so you can literally shrink down a car right into a little marble throw it because it doesn't carry weight it's just like the same weight as a marble throw it and then you snap your fingers and then the car appears and then it appears and it's like yeah fun at somebody projectile attack simple as that so i would love to see how they make compress in the game if they do add it i hope they do um you could even use this as um as support as well because you can grab your friends you know pop out on somebody throw them out and then yeah so compress yeah compress number two we have a quirk that has actually not been shown in the series yet it's manga only at the moment but i'm going to do my best not to spoil the actual character himself but basically what he can do is he can turn everything around him elastic he can make certain things elastic but con to this quirk is that he can't control how long it stays elastic for it stay elastic for however long they want but he can turn the air elastic so you can use it defensively if somebody tries to come towards you you can put an elastic wall up and they bounce back he can turn the area around his feet like the floor elastic and then maybe he can use it to gain some extra height on something you know you can jump up and then he'll bounce and get a little bit higher than if you were to jump normally um you can use it in a variety of ways and the show he in the, in the manga he actually uses it he pulls the object back you know a solid firm object back and then when it finishes being elastic he gets like slung shot across the map on something else so mm, it can be it can be used it can be used pretty cool it can be used pretty cool i personally don't like um i don't know if i ever mentioned this but i personally don't like flashy flashy quirks like that i do like them as in like you know exposure i love exposure the one for all but i would rather choose a technical quirk personally over a flashy one that's just me personally um i, I think they're pretty cool in the show and lastly, we have, you know, this is kind of a strange one because a lot of people, for whatever reason, they don't like this quirk. But I would love to see him make Meatball and not 
you know, a meatball that you make in the kitchen, you know, you order at a restaurant or whatever. I'm talking about the Quirk Meatball. And it's the Quirk used by Seiji Shinsukura. I hope I said that right. It's a long range type of Quirk. Basically what happens is the dude turns his arms into like flesh, flesh fingers or whatever. And he can send like these flesh bullets out to the person. And if any one of them touch the opponent, they become like little like meatballs squashed up, deformed and all this craziness. Now, I don't know how they don't like, you know, die or something, you know, from being hit like that, but I'm not gonna question it to anime, I'm not gonna question it. But he has the ability to manipulate human raw flesh, basically, basically. Now, it will be very busted in the game to have this but uh, and i have no idea how you would make this honestly because of how it works but mm, me personally i would like to see how it works in the game okay anyways guys that is my list thank you guys so much for watching it's been ethereum miracle i'm out deuces